Barbershops are depicted in movies and in television shows. How accurate those depictions are is a topic that is debated by many. The depiction of a barbershop is not what I grew up uh, in. Um, it's for entertainment value. They touch on a few points. They don't hit it all, but who has the time? Yeah, what better than those shops on fucking TV? They're horrible. All that shit on TV is rehearsed. But it really didn't show the true gist of what a barbershop really is. At the end of the day, you just have to go up into your local barbershop and just get the, get the whole, get the love. Boom, 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 baby, I'm Yeah, they call me Blank in the shop. Alberto is my real name. I'm from everywhere uptown, Flushing, Southside, everywhere you can put it. When I first started sweeping, first couple of months, I didn't have too much reaction to what everybody was saying. So I, know, I guess they just came up with that name, Blank. Blank, his name, we didn't know how much it fit him. <laughs> Blank's one of those dudes that came through and he was, he was, he was an empty box and he needed somebody to fill stuff in it. So if the wrong people started filling Blank's box, then he would have a mess. I brought Blank to the shop, actually. I know him for a while. And I guess he's seen me, and he says, oh shit, another young person. So he says, he could do it too. Blank had his first child as a teenager, and it had to grow up a lot when trying to raise him. You know, I was here when I got the call, you know, the water broke and all that shit, mid-customer, like, oh, psh, had to leave him and all that shit. Yeah, he's three, three years old. Elijah, the son right there, you know, that makes you just step it up to a whole nother league of like, you know, it's, it ain't no lollygagging with the money no more. And, I, and myself also, because, you know, now he's three, he sees, does the same thing that he sees, you know, stuff like that. So I got to check myself at the same time, take care of him and stuff like that. It's like a, a never ending grind. Being a new dad has made him step up to the plate, be a more responsible man, you know, stop being a boy. I talked with him one time. I asked him, does he know the difference between a man and a boy? And he, you know, he's blank. He's, I know. <laughs> so I threw something in his box real quick. I said, well, a boy has to be told what to do. And a man knows what to do. So I guess now he's stepping up because he knows what's in his box that he wants. But it's, you know, it's, it's for the good, though. Definitely.